Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Big Jim, and today is June 22nd, which marks the two year anniversary that I have had my Phoenix 19 PHX. So I thought that I would do a new review video and go over all the things that I have added over the uh, past couple of years and also to just show the boat again. Um, I'm also making this video so that if I go to list it for sale uh, in the next, I don't know, next 12 months, I'll have a video highlighting everything uh, for the boat and highlighting everything on the boat. We're gonna do a walk around of the boat and show you everything that I've added, show you all the factory options, and all the extras and upgrades that I did. Yeah, for me, it was about being able to fit in the garage. And when, when the 19 PHX came out uh, at the Bassmaster Classic in 2019, I drove up there to see the first one and uh, measured it, made sure that it would fit in my garage and it did so when i ordered it i ordered it with every available option except the warrior wheel package the reason why i did not go with the warrior wheel package is because that the fenders are wider and it wouldn't fit in my garage door and uh let me show you my garage that's my garage door right there it's nine feet wide and if i would have had the warrior wheel package it would have fit, however, I would not had as much room to back it in. And as you can see, you know, when I pull in my driveway, I have, I have to back it in. Uh, and it's, it's a tight fit, but because I built these stops, I can back it on in. And uh, of course, these do not move, unlike regular wheel chocks that when you're away somebody could bump them and they could move but i can back my tires right up against that wood and i have an inch and a half clearance to the uh, wall and then when i shut the door i have an inch and a half clearance so my garage is 23 feet deep i've done a video on it it's on my channel uh, so any of the 19 foot models will fit in a 23 foot garage but yeah here's my boat 19 phx for those of you who do not know the hull length and width is the same as on an 819 pro or a 919 pro xp okay so we're going to start with the trailer First off, it is black paint over gator hide with silver pins. I went with the silver pins because I have silver pins on my boat. But some of the, uh, that was one of the options. The uh, another option that I had to have was the trick step made by Mark Pfizer. It's got the handle right here. It's welded onto the frame uh, at Marine Masters. It is an awesome uh, accessory for your trailer. I recommend if you do to get an extended hitch uh, by having the extended hitch, having the ball back farther when the trailer turns, uh, the step will not hit your bumper. Uh, I've done a separate video on this with links on where to get the hitch and it works out great. One of the things I also did was on this safety chain, I had a hard time with the S hook staying clipped. So all I did was had that put on in a snap. So that I just clip it on right like that real good okay continuing on with the trailer upgrades I got the trailer shocks 
There's two on each side. It makes a great difference when towing, keeps it smooth, it doesn't bounce around, it doesn't make all that squeaky noise. Another option I got on the trailer was the rigid backup lights. It lights up when it's dark, you can see. It, it's great when I go to back in the garage. It's also great when you're at the boat ramp. Uh, lights it up really well. I went with the Velocity wheels. Um, I just chose those at that time because I didn't want chrome. And at the time, I, like I said, I could not fit the Warrior wheel package. The other thing, the Warrior wheel package, it picks your boat up on the trailer higher. I liked how low the boat sits on the trailer. So that was another reason why I did not go with them. So let's start from the back of the boat. Uh, the 19 PHX and the 919 Pro XP are both rated for a 225. I have the Mercury four stroke 225. I do have it covered. I have had it covered on uh, my motor the whole time I have owned it. I have not driven down the road nor been on the lake without it. Uh, a couple of reasons why is because of bugs. The bugs that eat, eat the front of that paint up. And the other thing is it's padded and I've actually had a couple of co-anglers get hung up and they, they jerk their bait loose. And when it does, it has hit this cowling, but because of this padded cover, it did not leave any marks or anything. And I have taken it off, taken it off to check. Uh, I take it off every time I wax my boat. Uh, I usually wax the boat about every two months and that keeps it looking pris pristine. But that cover is made by Tough Skins. You can go to their website uh, tough, the reason why I have the Tough Skin one over the other brands is because they're the only one that I could find at that time that actually has the horsepower rating right here and also has the horsepower rating on the back. So that was why I went with that. Now, coming down to some of the structural elements options that I added. Uh, I went with a 10H Marine Atlas jack plate, hydraulic jack plate, with the gauge in the dash. Uh, the reason why I went with black is so that it would blend in with not only the power pole mounts, but also the motor. It just looks, it, it the when you get the silver one, it stands out. I mean, I have a black boat, so it just looks better. Uh, love the jack plate. Um, what I like about it most, I mean, everybody says, yeah, you can get up in shallow water with it. That, that's not my reason to have it. My reason to have it is performance. Uh, when the lake is rough, I can run that jack plate all the way down and uh, I can cut through, you know, big waves and not have an issue. I end up passing everybody. Uh, when, especially like when you're blasting off, from a tournament and you got wake everywhere, I usually, you know, put that jack plate down just a couple of notches right around seven or eight, and I'm able to skip through and, and really get some good speed from the start. Now, when you get, when you're making long runs and you're, you're wide open throttle, I like to pick it up to about 14 or 15. And I have found that by doing so, um, not only does it reduce chine walk, but it also uh, gives me extra three or four miles an hour by doing that. Uh, I have power pole blades too. They're black. I love those. Won't have a boat without them. And uh, I got these neoprene covers for my blades. Uh, the reason why I have these is twofold. Uh, number one is when I'm driving down the road, I don't get bug splatters all over the leading edge of my blade. The second reason is that it keeps that blade locked in tight and secure, and it keeps your bushings from wearing out 
when you're driving down the road. That's the number one part that has to be replaced in a uh, power pole blade is the bushings and it's because people do not secure them when they're driving down the road and they have a bunch of bumps and so forth. All right, another thing I added is the leash. You can get this from Drew Tech's website. Um, the purpose of it is that if you hit something with your lower unit while on plane or any, you know, any other way, um, also if you're in rough water and if any of the mounts were to break, the leash, which is out of a Kevlar braided rope, will keep the motor from flipping up into the boat up here on your deck and injuring you or your co-angler. Uh, it is a safety item. Uh, I considered it a necessity and I have it. I know a lot of people don't have it, uh, no big deal, but for me, it's a safety item. And if there's anything that I can add to my boat that adds safety, I'm gonna do it. Uh, DD26, uh, they make these steering locks you put on each side of your motor onto your hydraulic steering. They just pop on and pop off. Uh, that keeps your motor straight when you're going down the road. Um, without them, it might stay straight one time. Another time your motor might turn. I just like how it keeps it dressed uh, perfectly straight. And also that it matches my motor toter, which is the DD26 mean mount. There it is. It has these sp uh, spring-loaded buttons right here, and when you pull that back, that pin goes in. You can take it out. Uh, this motor toter keeps the motor from bouncing around when you're going down the road. Uh, what it does is it uh, all, all the stress is put here, and everybody knows that Phoenix has one of the, if not the strongest transom in the industry. So, just a peace of mind that I have. Looks good. Uh, it's a lot better than the PVC pipes that come from the factory when you get a motor. So, I got the DD26 mean mount. You can find all the DD26 stuff on their webpage, and I'll leave a link in the description below. So, that's everything on the back. Let's go into... Uh, battery compartment here I have the Delta Volt uh, professional series four bank charger and the reason why I have the four bank charger is because I have a 36 volt 112 pound Ultrex with link so here's my three batteries for my trolling motor and then I have two North Star AGM 31s um, for my starting engine and also to run all my electronics. A lot of people will say, hey, this is overkill. Yeah, it might be overkill, but I will tell you this, I don't worry about power at all. Uh, you can see there's the battery info. But yeah, I got them hooked in parallel uh when i get back from fishing like i got back from bfl the other day uh both batteries were charged up in two and a half hours uh they actually beat out the charge of my trolling motor batteries but you can see back here I have my two power pole pumps and then i have the switching system uh integrated wire system that comes with the phx models uh, also right here is your breaker for your trolling motor so I'm very happy uh, I have plenty of power I've never ran down on my trolling motor and now that I have two batteries I never run down on power uh, for anything else the reason why I draw so much power is I have three Solixes and the Solixes draw some power man uh, 
I added the Hummingbird um, heading sensor and compass. Ordered that last year, and that that thing is amazing. Um, previously, you know, Hummingbird models have a built-in uh, sensor. However, you have to be moving. So a lot of times I would come to a fishing spot, fishing a ledge or something and not be moving and my map would just spin around in a circle. Well, the heading sensor eliminates that. Matter of fact, you can choose an option and your heading sensor will put a line all the way up for your heading. And uh, I really like that. Let me go over the colors that uh, I ordered on the boat. Um, the whole boat is pretty much black silver, which is black with silver flake in it. My stripes are Phoenix red and my pinstripes are silver. And I went, I went with the uh, black gel on the hull and the side wings are Phoenix red and the logo stripe I went with silver and the logo insert I went with black silver so that you know this matches and when you when you choose the logo stripe the same color as your pin stripe they will blend blend them together so it looks like one big stripe uh, the wings on the bow, I chose to go with Phoenix Red. On my console, I did something different. Uh, I went, I asked for a two-tone. I have Phoenix Red on the top and black silver on the bottom. And the reason why I did that is so that the bottom half of the console would match its surroundings and with all of the black uh, plastic and and uh, all the buttons and everything, it would all blend in. So, what are some of the options that I got up here? Well, of course, you know, Phoenix comes with uh, blinker style trim, but when you get a hydraulic jack plate, they'll upgrade it to the dual. So I got uh, trim and jack plate right here. The Atlas jack plate gauge is right here. Then you got your multi-function gauge right there. And your RPMs right here. I added the Mercury Smartcraft gauge. I really like this. I've done a separate video on this. Uh, the, I use it mostly for trim position when I trim my motor up and down and also for the amount of fuel that I use. I'm telling you, the amount of fuel that you use is within a quarter of a gallon, which is outstanding. Uh, my boat has a, it's either a 40 or 42 gallon gas tank. Uh, I, I remember 40, so I know that if I make a long run and I burn 20 gallons, that, you know, it's time to turn around to come back. I ordered this gauge right here just to fill in this hole and it has actually been pretty beneficial. It's a, uh, of course it's by Delta Volt, which is the same company that does my battery charger, but it gives me my trolling motor battery. It gives me my trolling motor battery status and my starting batteries status. The, the cool thing about this is that when you're running and your engine's running, the lights will cycle across and that indicates that your alternator is charging your batteries as you're going down the water. So this is a really cool indicator to know that, hey, my starting batteries are being charged or also to tell what level I'm at on my trolling motor. Uh, another option was the dual graph dash shroud. That is an extra upgrade that you have to pay for. It is actually designed 
to hold two graphs side by side. You can see they have the holes here for two separate graphs wires. But in my case, I wanted a 15 inch Solix so that I could have a huge map for when I'm running. And uh, that's what I have here. I have Gen 2 units on my boat. This I have a Solix 15 here. And in a minute, we'll talk about my 12s that I have up front. Um, I originally had an issue with the original unit that came with the boat, uh, sent it in to Hummingbird, and three days later, they sent me a brand new unit. So this is a brand new unit. They fixed the issue that they had with the touch screen going out. Uh, evidently, that soldered connection wasn't uh, very stable, so after a while of hitting bumps and everything, it worked itself loose. Uh, but now, everything is great, man. I, I love this thing. Uh, I wrap my windshield for tournament, um, tournament fishing. Uh, it helps my co-angler find me when I park at a dock or whatever. He can find what boat to meet me at. And of course, you know, you got your Phoenix first flight decal that you have to have. But I do this wrap every year. I like it. Um, this isn't my primary windshield. Uh, I have two windshields. I have a spare. So when I take this one off that gets my wrap redone every year, I have another one that goes on there. Uh, also, that's where I stuck the mount for my GoPro that I use when I do all my videos. Um, I have a cable that comes down and it plugs into the USB right there and that keeps my GoPro powered up all day. Another thing that I had, it has a Fusion radio with two speakers. Uh, this radio is linked with my Solix so I can control it from the Solix. Uh, Bluetooth, I can also control it with my Apple Watch, my Apple phone. It reads the music off my phone. Uh, one speaker is back behind the jet, the uh, hot foot. And the other speaker is over there above the passenger rod box where the Phoenix Eagle decal usually goes. Uh, I like that it was factory installed. Love this thing. It's a great little piece. When I'm out fun fishing, I turn on the radio and rock out or I throw on some bluegrass before tournaments. Just, uh, it's a cool thing to have. Uh, I also added deck lights. Here's the controller for the deck lights. I've done a complete separate video about the deck lights and what they do, but that's where the control is. And you get three per side. And they're black. So you get three per side. And I use those, you know, on tournament mornings when it's dark. And uh, light up the front deck. It's a blingy item. Moving up to the front of the boat. One of the biggest things that has changed was I ordered and added the fiberglass dual graph bow shroud. Uh, this can only be gotten for PHX models and elites. Uh, the elites, the graphs actually sit centered on the PHX models. They sit off to an angle. Um, love this thing uh, all I had to do was when my dealership Nashville Marine who is awesome the best dealership around when they ordered this for me uh, they're like what color you want I said black silver you can even get this part a different color I wanted them both black silver so that way it just blends in with the deck and I added a second graph uh, I had just this graph, one graph, before, and I'm going to show you a picture of what this looked like before I had this done right here. Okay, 
So now you can see I have the dual graph. And the reason why I have dual graphs up here is because I added the Hummingbird Mega 360 to my Ultrax. I will say that out of all the electronics I've ever played around with, it is a game changer. Uh, and once I add Mega Live, uh, I'll be able to see even better. But uh, I love that thing, especially when you're looking for structure offshore. It is a key tool to have. Uh, both of these units are Gen 2. They're Solix 12s, which is the biggest you can fit up here on the dual stack. Um, this one's down imaging, mega down imaging, and this one is mega side imaging, which means it does both. Now, the way I have it wired right now is that this one has a Y cable that has the built-in mega down imaging transducer going to it and the 360 going to it. Uh, this one right here, all it is is it goes straight to the ethernet port, which is right in this compartment. Oops. It goes straight to uh, the ethernet right there. And when I get Mega Live, I'm gonna plug in into this one so that this one will be full-time Mega Live and uh, this one could be 360 and mapping or I can jump back and forth because I have them all networked together. I can, I can put anything on either screen that I want when I hook them up that way. And uh, I look forward to it. Uh, right now, the way I run it is Solix's uh, don't require a card in each, each unit. So my Lake Master is in this Hummingbird, the Lake Master chip. And these two read it. Uh, right now, what I have this one for is I have my uh, 2D down imaging or uh, mega down imaging and my map here and then I run my 360 right here with front, front view and it covers that whole screen and the angle is perfect to be able to see when you're out fishing. Uh, I have the two power pole up and down buttons uh, that I can use with my foot when I'm fishing. And also the dual graph shroud has the trim buttons that you step on up and down. Really like this feature. I have my DD26 cable cover. It's the widest one that's out in the market. Love it. Uh, my other one I had, it uh, was busting at the seams because I had so many cables in it. But this one seems to be doing the job great and I love it. TNH Marine prop nut. Uh, when I go to sell the boat, I have two of them. I have this one and a spare in case this one ever comes off. All of my graphs have the, the Duracell flocks and they're all keyed the same. So both of these graphs are locked up. My Solix 15 graph is locked up. And it's also the same lock that locks down my spare tire. And uh, I don't have it in here right now, but I have the coupler that is the same. And then my actual hitch uh, that holds the hitch in, they're all keyed the same. They're also keyed the same as my Ultrex lock. So that keeps someone from being able to take your Ultrex off if you're at a hotel or something somewhere. But yeah, there's a 360 Minn Kota Ultrex with Link. What does Link mean? Well, it, there's two different types that you can get in Ultrex. You can get just the regular one or you can get the one with Link. The Link connects to uh, the Solixes 
and you can actually control the solo trolling motor from your solixes like I've, I've been back here sitting down eating a sandwich while somebody's fishing and i can control the trolling motor from there it also comes with a remote control where you can spot lock your boat go get your truck come back have your boat drive over to the dock pick you up i'm going to do a video on that uh within the next week or two showing y'all how that works but this is the mincota ultrax 112 pounds of thrust with link love that thing i've never been short of power at all have the tnh marine wire handle love that so let's see i think that's about all the added options uh the phx has come with a padded deck uh what i did is i added the padded cooler lid and let me get up in the boat and show you why okay i'm up in the boat i got the padded cooler lid and not only is it insulated on one side but it's padded underneath the carpet right here and the reason why i did that is because when you open up your tackle box the tackle storage and you go to get in here this is where your knees are going to be resting and uh i'm able to get in here get whatever tackle that i need i've got my hat there get some worms i gotta put away but yeah i have them uh, have these kvd bags in here i uh, have eight of them four on each side then i've got two little ones up here and i just keep that one open but look at all the boxes that the 19 PHX will hold. Holds a lot of boxes. Of course, you got your chip clips here to hold all the baits that you use. And uh, I use this right here to hold jigs that I know that I'll be using from time to time. Uh, here's your rule, your bump board. Slides in and out right there. The PHX models are noted for having the slam latches. So no more of the days of turning and it being flipped over and bumping your toe and all that. You just pick it up, slam it down. Uh, those are on all the PHX models and the Elite models. You get a day box in the PHX and Elite models. I, I put my rope right here that I use and then, uh, of course, I have thing storage. Here is the remote for the link for your Minn Kota Ultrex. I'll do a separate video on this. Y'all can see how that works. It's pretty cool. I love it. Um, what I did on my rods... I took the tubes out I did a separate video on that uh, the reason why I did that is so that I can fit more rods and reels I have 25 in here right now I also took out the uh, the butt holder so that I can get all 25 casting rods in here with my lose reels my lose hack attacks love these dudes holds plenty plenty of, of rods i've got more than i need in there also the uh the passenger rod rack i want you to notice something see how that right there is split that is split because of the dual console kit uh, this piece right here pops off and your dual console sits in I've done a separate video about the dual console. This boat does come with one. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. It matches this one exactly. Uh, it's Phoenix red on the top and black silver on the bottom. But you pull this out, you pull that out, and you can pop in your dual console. And it, this cup holder twists off, and this right here is where the dual console locks in.
But here's the passenger rod rack. It has uh, holes for four rods. So I keep four spinning rods in here with my drop shot and floating worm and wacky worm and shaky head. That's where I keep my four spinning rods. But yeah, you can see there, there's the fusion speaker. Guys, if you, if you go to order a boat and uh, you're getting a radio in there, make sure you tell them what color grill covers you want. Uh, you don't want white on black. Uh, you know, tell them, tell them what color grill cover you want, either white or black and they will make sure that the right one's in there. But yeah, you have these little, these other little compartments right here that you know you can keep all kinds of little stuff in. And then uh, underneath there's even more room. Right here I keep my bone, my hound dog lure retriever. Yeah, great little storage. Right here you have a stainless steel trimmed out tool holder i keep two pair of pliers two pair of scissors coming around to the seats i didn't talk about the seats yet uh i'm going to show you the extra seats that i have but uh th this right here is called hot rod it's red and it has a texture to it and then black vinyl and silver vinyl and as you can see my seats are two years old and they look brand new. Why do they look brand new? Because every time I clean the boat, which is usually once a month, I'll clean it real good. I put 303 protectant on there. That make, keeps these seats looking brand new. Everybody told me, you're going to hate that silver. It's going to fade. No, it don't fade. It looks just like it did the day I drove it home from Nashville Marine. So yeah, put 303 protectant on your seats. It'll keep them looking brand new. Right here is the net storage. I have the Phoenix net in there. Fits perfectly, you pop it out. So that's, that's where I keep my net. Of course right here is like a little day box. I keep sunglasses, buffs, goggles, maps, that kind of thing in there. I have the older version with the snap. I'm probably gonna order the one with the slam latch right here. Probably gonna order that in the next couple of months and replace this whole box. So this box here will be up for sale probably pretty soon for anybody who's looking for, looking to replace one because it broke or something. But I'm gonna get the one that has the slam latch right here and it has the rubber gasket on the inside to help keep it dry. Yeah, it's just got your live wells. I have my DD26 coal tags hanging there. Uh, it came with that uh, plastic holder. All I did was zip tie it to the one that was installed by Phoenix. Those are the conservation coal tags by DD26. You can get them on the website. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below. Oh, one, one thing, uh, I, when I added the uh, second battery back there hooked in parallel, I lost some speed. I lost about four or five miles an hour. And I was like, man, this boat isn't turning the RPMs that it should. I was only turning about 5,000 RPMs. So I took it to Nashville Marine. They hooked the computer up to it. And come to find out, my throttle from the factory was set to 83%. So the tech there, who is real good, we get, we got the uh, hot foot throttle set up so that when it's straight up, you know, no tension on it, it's at zero. When you push it all the way to the floor, I'm at 100% now. Uh, I've only been out in the boat one time since that has happened and i hit 74 easy and was cruising around at 72 you know on straightaways and man it really really picked up my performance uh i guess so right if i was only running 83 percent throttle for the past two years 
but uh, yeah now I'm running a true hundred percent and uh, I'm getting the RPMs I should I'm turning about 5900 RPMs uh, give or take some and uh, man she screams and she's fast so what makes this boat fast is that uh, the 919 is one of the fastest hulls that Phoenix makes with a 225 on it. Well, the hull on a 19 PHX is the same hull that's on a 919 Pro XP. The only thing that's different is the top cap. And what is different about the top cap, you ask? Well, the gunnels are a little bit higher, maybe about a half inch higher up here at the front than a Pro XP, which gives you a little bit more weight and what that does is that keeps that nose down in rough water. But also what a PHX does is the deck sets one inch higher than on a uh, 919 Pro XP. It actually sets higher, which makes your compartments deeper and also makes your console set up higher, which I like because I'm a tall guy. I'm six foot four, 300 pounds, and it, I like the leg room and you know instead of my console sitting right here my console sits up here so I have a little bit more room underneath which I like like I said I'm a big guy I have my hot foot slid all the way forward and I can sit here comfortably for those of you who don't know from right here at the back of the seats to the front right here where the console is on every Phoenix model is exactly the same measurements. So what I'm trying to say is that the cockpits in all of them, whether it be the 518 all the way up to the 21 PHX, this area right here is all the same. The only thing that's different is on your PHX models, your console sits up just a little bit higher and then of course, you know, your, your gunnels and stuff like that, depending on which model you have. Uh, if you've seen a Pro XP, right about here, the gunnels start tapering down. And when they get up to the front, they're probably about, I don't know, maybe an inch tall. Whereas mine are probably two and a quarter inches tall. So that's, that's the only difference. But now that I've got my throttle adjusted, man, this thing will run. Uh, almost, you know, almost had to learn to redrive it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it wasn't a problem at all. I just uh, make sure you never over trim and you use that jack plate. You pick that jack plate up and you keep that trim bump down. Uh, Phoenix do not like to throw a high rooster tail. If you're throwing a high rooster tail, you are losing performance. And the reason why is because the pad isn't just a flat pad. Uh, Phoenix is known for the Diamond V. They even put a decal right up there. Diamond V hold design. And that's what makes Phoenix's rod so good and makes them so quick in the water. Let's see if I can show you. If you can see, that pad is not flat whatsoever. But yeah, I think I've gone over all the options that I can show you out here that's on the boat. Uh, some things that I have that when it comes time for me to sell, I'll probably put with the boat. I have a spare prop, uh, it's a spare Fury 24. It's never been on the boat. I just keep it right here. I have, there's my spare, a propeller nut and a spare Mercury Racing hub kit. You can see there, $152 just for the hub kit. So I have those that will go with the boat. Over here in my garage on the shelf, here's the dual console. I keep it rested on this pad, but it pops right in. You can see it's Phoenix red on the top, black silver on the bottom. Why do I have this? 
I have it for when I take my wife fishing. She don't like uh, wind in her face or my grandson because he likes the security of being behind it. Uh, the windshield for it's up here. And uh, of course the windshields are the same. So not only do I have one on the boat out there, but I have two in here. One's for the console and one is a spare that I have in case I ever uh, damage one. I have two sets of pro poles, the bike seats, which are black vinyl hot rod. I have two of them. Uh, me and my brother-in-law, sometimes we'll put them both in. This right here is a center seat. Uh, you can take the console out in the middle and you can put the center seat in. I do, I do this when I take three people in my boat and I'm gonna show you a picture of what it looks like right here. Okay, that's what it looks like. And then of course you have your Bill Dance style seat that came with the boat and it matches the others with silver, black vinyl, hot rod. But what I did is I added the, uh, the pneumatic riser so it's just like the riser on your pole poles. Uh, this right here will get up real tall. I'm a tall guy. So by using this on the front, I can let, let it out and it does not hurt my knees whatsoever. And of course that will go with the boat as well. But hey, that is my 2019 19 PHX. Uh, you don't see very many of them. They don't build a whole lot of them. The reason why they don't build a whole lot of them is because for the, about the same price, you can get a 721 Pro XP. But I wanted the 19 PHX so it would fit my garage and I would have the flagship boat of the 19 footers. So yeah, I got it rigged out, man. I got just about everything on it you can get. The only option that is not on this boat that I could have is the Warrior wheel package. And that's because my garage, uh, it would be tough to get it in and out. But yeah, there's my two year review. Uh, this boat has about 124 hours on it, 124, 125 hours on it. Uh, been garage kept, I keep it immaculate and all my service is done by nashville marine i don't do anything on my boat they uh take care of me so anyway if you would uh please like this video if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe big jim fishing and i'm going to leave links in the description below for uh nashville marine for dd26 fishing and of course for Phoenix boats. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. This is Big Jim with Big Jim Fishing. We'll see y'all next time.